Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to A-B test thumbnails for your YouTube channel. If you guys have not yet started A-B testing thumbnails, then you're 100% missing out on tons of potential growth with your channel. What I mean by this is that your CTR, your click-through rate of your videos is extremely important. And one of the biggest factors affecting this is your thumbnail. Making sure that you choose the most optimized thumbnail for that video is super important and something that every serious YouTuber needs to be doing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use TubeBuddy this is my absolute favorite tool that I use for my YouTube channel. And it's been really instrumental in helping me grow my main YouTube channel to almost 700,000 subscribers as of right now. So this is their main website. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And that's going to take you directly to this page. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to install free now. You can access TubeBuddy on their main website or through a Chrome extension. But I definitely recommend installing this Chrome extension because it's going to make your life a lot easier. So I already have installed. So that's why I don't have the button, but you're basically just going to click install into Chrome. From there, it's going to have you uh, make an account and you can actually connect it to your Google account if you want. But another thing we need to look at is the pricing because with A-B testing, you need to get one of their paid plans. If you don't want to do A-B testing, TubeBuddy is still a really, really awesome tool to get. I highly recommend it. I was actually on the free plan for a long time, but if you want to do A-B testing, both with thumbnails, with your description, with your title, all that stuff, you're going to have to select the legend plan. I know it's a pretty steep price, but you guys, if you want to take YouTube seriously and you want to maximize the growth of your channel, this is 100% worth it. No other tool is going to give you a better ROI. I pretty much guarantee that. I'll come down here and show you guys what you get with the legend plan. And like I said, you guys still get the free plan, even if you uh, don't want to spend the money on pro star or legend, because it still comes with a ton of really great features. But yeah, they know the importance of AP testing. It is pretty complicated to actually implement. So that's why it only is available on the legend plan. But anyways, I'm here in my main dashboard for my YouTube channel. And once you get that Chrome extension installed, you're going to see this thing right here and you're going to see this thing right here. So I'm here in my content page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and click on my video. Here you're going to see this little uh, TubeBuddy thing right here. So this is your TubeBuddy tools. You're going to click on that. And here you're going to be able to click on a B test underneath the video SEO. So I'll click on that right here. It's going to open up this page and this is going to bring me to the TubeBuddy website. It's going to confirm, is this the video you'd like to run the test on? Yes. What type of A-B test would you like to run? So you're going to either do a thumbnail CTR test or you're going to do a metadata test. And that's going to allow you to change the thumbnail, title, tags, and description. So let's say we want to do the thumbnail test. I'm going to click this. It's going to say, how long would you like to run the test for? And there are two different options. The first one, you can set it to a set number of days. So default is 14 days. Or you can actually just run the test until there is a statistically significant result. Basically, it's going to run the test until there is a 95% chance or higher of one thumbnail outperforming the other. So usually I'll do this one since it is a little bit faster. But yeah, you guys can choose which one. I'm just going to click this one for now. It'll have me uh, enter in when I want this test to start. So I'll have it start ASAP, but you can actually schedule a start date as well. Then I'll click continue. Here's going to show my original thumbnail. And here is where I'm going to be able to upload my test thumbnail. So I'm going to click choose file and I'll select the file that I want to use. This is going to be the one that I'm going to test. So I'll click open. And basically this is really up to you guys uh, how different you want this test thumbnail to be. So in this one, I'm just going to remove the fire. And so it is a pretty small change, but it still might be pretty significantly different in terms of the performance. You guys can also just use a completely different thumbnail. You guys can choose to use like different fonts, whatever you want. And the best thing is that you can actually, you know, do multiple A-B tests, right? So you do one like this, pick the winner, then you change another thing, test those two, pick the winner, and just keep changing elements until you find the best possible uh, thumbnail. From here, I'm just gonna click start test. It's gonna make me confirm, are you ready to start? And I'm gonna click yes, start the test. So now what TubeBuddy is basically gonna be doing is they're gonna have this as the thumbnail for one day, then the next day it's gonna be this one, then the next day it's gonna be this one, and they're gonna keep alternating while tracking the click-through rates. There's literally no way you can do this yourself, or if there is, then I don't know about it, and it's probably 
like gonna take you a ton of time. So yeah, they just really automate this whole process and you can do multiple A-B tests at the same time. If you're a numbers junkie and you really love optimizing everything, then this is an indispensable tool. It's literally probably gonna change your life. So if you go to manage, it's actually gonna show you all the A-B tests that have been done as well as are currently in progress. And not only is it gonna show you your thumbnail A-B tests, it's also gonna show you your metadata A-B tests here too. So for example, this video about Warren Buffett, my original actually beat out my variation and the original was 9.6% higher than the variation. So I definitely stuck with that one. Here's another test that's currently in progress. If I click on this one, it's actually gonna show me all the you know more detailed information. So you can see that the variation had a 2.63% click-through rate versus 2.88% for the original. It shows you the impressions to clicks. It shows you the watch time per impression. It shows you the daily impressions, the daily clicks, total views, average view duration, estimated total minutes watched, daily views, as well as comparing the different traffic sources. So yeah, once the test is complete, it's actually gonna show you the recommendation. And for this one, it recommended to just keep the original version. So since the variation was not better, I could just you know A-B test again with another variation of the thumbnail. And yeah, you can do multiple A-B tests per video. And if you just keep doing it, it's really going to optimize you know, everything that you uh, test. You can see that some of the craziest results actually uh, were from when I did title A-B tests. So the title actually is really, really important too. And if I click on this one, you can see that the click-through rate of my variation was significantly higher than the original, almost 40% better. So yeah, in this case, it made a lot of sense for me to use the variation. And it really is a numbers game, you guys. YouTube is full of analytics. The numbers actually matter. And that's why A-B testing is so important. Since the variation in this case was much better, YouTube would be way more likely to you know promote this video on the browse screen. And hence, it has a much better chance of going viral. So yeah, that's how you A-B test thumbnails on YouTube. I'll leave the link to TubeBuddy down below. So if you do want to support the channel, feel free to use that link. And yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck on your YouTube channel growth. And I'll leave with saying that, you know, having a tool like TubeBuddy, this video is not sponsored by them. I've just gotten so much value from this tool that I thought it would be, you know, kind of messed up not to share. Do me a favor, give this video a like and also subscribe if you want to see more how-to and guide videos just like this. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.